Voice culture is a very simple concept. Basically, it is training the voice to produce whatever the mind wants, which in turn requires us to train the mind first to want the correct things. That means the mind should know what is the yardstick for that particular system. What is the yardstick for Carnatic music? What are the yardsticks for Hindustani music? What are the yardsticks for light music? What would be the yardsticks for Western music? The requirements of each system is different. And the way in which each system is appreciated or understood or communicated is different. So the mind should first be very familiar with that particular idiom. There are certain things which are common to all these systems like singing tunefully, singing with correct rhythmic sense, producing a good, acceptable, pleasing tone and then wherever lyrics are involved, pronouncing them in a pleasing manner. These are common to any good system of music in the world. So the mind should be aware of those factors. These are universal standards of excellence. And then specifically when you come to Carnatic music, the mind should be aware of specific requirements of that system. Now, for example, what are the kinds of gamakas or ornamentation that are very specific to Carnatic music? So we should know what kind of oscillations are there, what kind of ornamentation is used for graceful music, what is used for forceful music. Ornamentation is apart from the notes themselves, what we do on the notes or what we do in between the notes. Now, for example, oscillation is something that we do on the note. A glide is something that we'll do in between the notes. It's on the note. Means it's a glide between the ta and pa. So these are very different and distinct for different systems. Now, for example, Western music operas, you will have what is known as a tremolo. Kind of thing, which is very important for their system. So an opera singer can't be singing that like some whereas a Carnatic singer should be able to sing that. So we have to be very familiar with the system, learn from great gurus, listen to great masters and then read up the correct kind of books and then practice that, how to get it on the voice. And to start doing voice culture, we have to really practice long plain notes which sustain them tunefully. And then we should be able to sing oscillated notes in Carnatic. We should know the degree of oscillation for each note in specific context in various ragas. And then the voice training should include slow, fast, different tempos. Thirdly, the voice should be able to produce music in different volume levels, the dynamics. It should be naturally modulated, keeping the Raga aesthetics in mind. The Dakara clarity is very, very important. How many ways of opening the lips and mouth movement itself, different tone volumes will be generated. At least two octaves range should be there. Some people may like a sharper sound. So their voice culture might naturally be gravitated towards a sharper kind of tonal output. Could be a little more on the bassier side. So it's also understanding our own body constitution, our own mindset, our own uh, preferences for musical output.